tonight is coming out of the so-called challengers bracket which meant that he lost earlier in the week and by doing that he's actually following his brother's road because Gary Russell Jr. when he went to the Olympic Games a few years ago also came out of the what was then called the losers bracket the challengers bracket so they've got more in common than just their last names, their first and last names. Well, Jerron Ennis and Gary Russell have wasted no time getting after it. Good shot to the midsection by Russell. And again, another rarity, a couple left-handers. You see a lot of left-handers in amateur boxing. And when we mentioned the, uh, that uh, that oh, yeah. Gary Russell had oh, lost, yeah. it was to this man when they when they oh, when they fought yeah. earlier in the week. So he's got to turn it around. It was a split decision when they lost when he lost to him. Not all of the Gary Russells box. There is one of the brothers that doesn't. <laughs> But the four of them have all won the Golden Gloves. Yeah, that was the opening fight when he lost to Ennis. We mentioned split decision, 2-1 count. I was there earlier and was here in Las Vegas. Boy, that's a great exchange by these two, though. This looks like it's turning into a real good fight. Yeah, Russell, with that right hand, he landed right on the jaw. When Gary Russell Jr. won his uh, championship, world championship, earlier this year, down in Las Vegas, I got a chance to call that fight. It was such a skilled performance. He beat Johnny Gonzalez, and he just was an unmitigated beatdown in just a few rounds against a really good champion with a big punch. So Gary Russell as a pro is maturing, and Gary Russell as an amateur might be maturing right before our eyes here tonight. Jonathan Walpel is our official. As you mentioned earlier, Rich, all ten fights, all ten different officials. Each one will work one. As usual, Gary Russell giving away height. Seems like he has to do that in every uh, fight. Good work to the body, though, by Russell at the end of the round. Yeah, let's take a look at the action for the first round. There's those long arms, though, you can see of Jerome uh, Ennis. Some of those guys can be, like, <laughs> very difficult to fight. I remember... Uh, Ernie Terrell got the nickname the octopus from Muhammad Ali because he had those long... Again, Gerard Ennis in the red and Jerry Russell in the blue. Oh, there's the mouthpiece. 
Yeah, big punch landed by Ennis. Had professional boxing, they would have let that just continue until there was a lull in the action. Get a quick look at it, and you watch that mouthpiece go flying. There it is, on her right hand. Yes, and you can see the referee immediately stop the action. That's a difference from the pros when they were great. Right. I think Ennis is doing a better job this round of, of keeping Russell at bay. Well, he's utilizing a little bit of movement. Keeping him at the end of his right hand of, the, of that jab. Now, Ennis wants this fight, you would think, in long range, but sometimes he rushes Russell like this and is willing to engage him in close. <laughs> As you said, protect yourself at all times. You can see that punch and the expression on Ennis' face. He thought the, the ref had broken him. If Russell can win this fight, they would fight for a third time tomorrow. Third time within a week. And you hear people say all the time, I'd pay to see that fight. Well, if they do fight tomorrow, you don't have to pay to see it. It'll be free right here at the event center. Wow. I know a few major sports franchises who, owners of major sports franchises who would shudder at the very thought of that. <laughs> what do you mean free? took the first part of the round, but I think Russell's getting the better half in the second part of the round. They walk right into that little looping right hand of Russell. John Ennis, I, I think he'd be better off if he was to keep the fight at distance, but it looks like he wants to be close to Russell. Score. I was about to say the same thing, but for me, they're all tough to see. <laughs> we'll see after we look at the replay if we get a better idea of who won that round. Well, it got off to kind of a spectacular start in the early moments. As you see that uh, right hand knocking the mouthpiece of Gary Russell out. It was a good clean punch that, knocked, that sent the mouthpiece flying. He mixed it up pretty good. Yeah, Jerron Ennis out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Gary Russell from Capitol Heights, Maryland. Yeah, I mean, all five brothers, as you mentioned earlier, named Gary Russell, and four of the five box have been all successful. I don't think there's ever been a case of four brothers winning the gold, Golden Gloves championship. But there's the mouthpiece again. Russell's mouthpiece is out. Take one more look, we'll see where it came out. There it is. Again, it was from a punch. A right hand. He's not spinning the mouthpiece out. And I don't think it's the case of an ill-fitting mouthpiece. Because the case of a clean punch knocked it out. Russell, a little more aggressive here to start the round. And, and it gets knocked out when you're not biting down on it. And, and that's a, if you have your mouth open, that's an easy way to get a broken jaw. Good start to the round by Russell. Come 
Good right hand by Russell, another one. I think Russell's trying to get to him, and, and Ennis is trying to smother the punches. Yeah, and if Ennis had thoughts of like keeping the fight at a distance in this round, Russell was forcing him into a firefight. Really good work to the body. Good exchange. That shot to the midsection. Well, Annis realizes he's in a fight. He's got a fight right here. And that was a good few moments for him. Right after he got nailed. Russell was trailing coming into this third round, so he's got to stay active, keep his hands moving. And a reminder, for those of you who joined us late, may not have heard the scoring explanation, the fight is scored by five judges, but only three of the scores will count. They're picked randomly by computers for who's, there goes the mouthpiece again, third time. And it is on a 10-point must this time. You have to have a 10-9 round. Let's see where the piece comes out again. I didn't see the actual punch that struck it in. That was a warning about the mouthpiece. Well, even if a guy is intentionally spinning it out, after a while, it will end up costing you a point. It keeps coming out. Yeah, these guys toe to toe. The crowd is loving it. Well, that was really a good hot round there at the end. We're looking at one another, shrugging our shoulders. Yeah. Even asked Andre Ward, what do you think? He said, I don't know. What do you think, Rich? Uh, it's just a tough call. It's a very close fight. I'm I almost wouldn't hazard a guess. I think maybe Russell might have pulled it out in that third round. Well, he had to do a lot of work. I'm kind of think I'm kind of going the other way. I think Ennis, but we'll see. Good action in that round, though. It was really high-level stuff. Both fighters. I think Ennis might have thought coming out for the round that you know I'm gonna I'm gonna like box in this round and just Russell was not gonna let him do that and then Ennis became more than willing to go ahead uh, all right then let's fight yeah we're getting an extended look at that round there's where the mouthpiece came out you wonder what effect that might have on the score they didn't take a point away. I would not be surprised if this was a split decision once again. Well, I thought it was a close fight. Real good action fight, though. Both corners saying to the opposing corner and the opposing fighter, good fight. It was. Here we are with Gary Russell. How tough fight. This is the second time you guys have fought at this tournament. What was different about this fight versus the first fight? My mindset. My mindset was way different. 
I had to actually reroute myself before I entered the ring. My father told me, don't overanalyze it just because it's a big tournament. A lot of you fighters overanalyze the tournament based upon the title of it, the meaning of it. But it's the meaning that you have back home at the gym in your backyard to these events like this, your outcome will be way more smooth. You know, a lot of professional fighters has that same kind of confident in their, in their arsenal. And then one of the tools in the arsenal that they use, they change their state of mind going into the fight. Well, here, here we see Gary Russell, tremendous performance tonight. He's got one more to close the show, Focus Fighter. Back to you guys. Yeah, Andre, and very much.